We have indeed. We've been spoiled this afternoon. The bush has given us everything we could ask for. And you can see we're still with the Inkahumas. And they are busy finishing off the last of their buffalo. Each one has got a little section. And they're all just having their last little bit. You can hear, listen to the crumbles. Now those are the cubs fighting in the background over the rest of the carcass. So that's them and all the adult females seem to as though they've got their own little pieces. Doesn't that sound amazing? Now I'm just going to try and get forward so we can actually see what's going on there. So that you can have a look. I think what I'm going to do is just come up here. Let's try go forward because I think that's going to be better. But it's because probably the carcass is now getting smaller and smaller and so there is less and less for them to be able to actually feed on and so that's when everybody starts to fight but exactly what I was hoping for has happened we've got into a situation where all the lions are starting to wake up and actually fight over the carcass so there's the rest of the buffalo now listen to them isn't this amazing and that's the cubs that are making all that noise. It's incredible how such a small little body can project such sound. The female is not being nearly as aggressive as what the young ones are. And the only problem with parking where we are now is the smell is quite something. This area, the with downwind from them, and it's quite stinky, that's for sure. Isn't this incredible? We have been thoroughly, thoroughly spoiled this afternoon. Now, I believe a lot of you are very excited to see the Inkomas, and indeed, it's been really cool to have been seeing them the last few days, and to see them on a meal and interacting around the carcass is always quite special. Now, for some of you, I know that this is a little bit gory and a little bit sensitive, so if you are prone to feeling a little bit bad for the buffalo, then I suggest maybe now is a good time to look away. But it is, after all, it has been dead for a day or two, and the lions do need to eat, so as hard as it is, we need to be able to see them, and, and the lions need to be able to find food to sustain themselves and to carry on. And they've done a really good job since yesterday in terms of the amount of food they've eaten. There's not actually very much left of this carcass, and the way they're eating at it now, I'd be surprised if they were actually still here tomorrow morning. The one thing is, is with all this noise that they're making around this carcass, is that is going to attract the attention of not only hyenas, but it might even attract the attention of some of the Birminghams that might come into the area to try then sort of steal some of this carcass. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens by tomorrow morning and whether or not they are still sitting here. Well, it seems like everything's calmed down a little bit now. Indeed, so you're all commenting that Cataday has been a, si a s resounding success. Sorry, my tongue got a bit swollen there. Resounding success, indeed, it has. It's been amazing. We've had the Inkahumas, Mvula, Tingana, absolutely special. And wouldn't it just be amazing if we bumped into Karula as well, just to complete our Saturday? I know a lot of you are worried about her, so that would be the ultimate way, I think, to end Cataday. Oh, it seems like there's another lioness that's coming up. On the side here. I wonder if she's going to join. There she goes. You can see the others are moving around quite a bit in the background. Almost like they're a bit restless for some reason. And I, probably because there's not too much space around the carcass and they actually want to come and feed and so they're probably waiting for the rest to finish. Now it is getting very dark. The sun has set and so it's now time for Jamie to start heading back because we don't want him out in the wilds at night because otherwise she might end up like this buffalo. So Let's get back to her and so she can say goodnight before she gets herself into trouble. Yeah.